So how much did I earn and how much did I have to spend mining Monero using a 12 CPU core server on AWS? Let's find out. Yeah, 0.002799 and a few more um, XMR, so, so that much Monero. And I'm gonna go ahead and translate that. I have another browser open here. So let, let's look that up and uh, check what that's worth in US dollars. So paste that in, that is 0 0.09 US dollars. So nine cents, that's worth nine pennies. So basically nothing. And these are my costs. Now I checked this a little early, but basically this is how much I spent. Some of that was for the host while it was syncing the blockchain. Most of that is while it was actually mining. And I'm gonna to switch to another screen here. This is after waiting another day for, for billing to catch up actually spent more like $23 on this and maybe a few cents on other random AWS costs, but almost all of that is cost that I spent on this $23 to make it nine cents. So, you know, as you can see, not quite worth it to be mining on AWS. I don't know, maybe there are things you could do to optimize it or make it better. Maybe do it cheaper, maybe, uh, you know, improve performance, maybe by many orders of magnitude. Maybe, maybe, maybe there, this is my first time trying it. So maybe there are a lot of things I don't know, but I don't think mining on AWS is really a good idea, at least from what I've seen here. And even if you could improve it a lot, it's still probably not a good idea. It's a good idea only if you have, if you have, probably just run do it on your own hardware and probably do it if you have like free electricity or something but anyways it it is a good thing to uh you know support the support the network keep things up and running support freedom and all that stuff but there you go that is mining that is mining monero with aws and the the p2 pool don't forget to hit that subscribe button we have a ton of other great tech content you don't want to miss out on but that's it for today see you guys next time